Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given uh, two strings, word one and the word two, and we need to return the minimum number of operations, minimum of, uh, number of operations required to convert word one to word two. And we can do the following operations. We can insert a character, delete a character, or replace a character. So for example, we are given horse here, and the word is Ross, right? How many, how many operation it takes to convert word one to word two? So, and we're getting the explanation. Explanation is first we are converting our horse H to R, right? Then we are removing R, and we are removing a E. So which means that we did three operations, right? And we are getting Ross as a result of three operations. We are going to use dynamic programming bottom-up approach in order to solve our problem. So what's the dynamic program bottom-up approach? Let's remind ourselves. Bottom-up approach is when we are built when we are solving a sub problems that helps us that we that builds up to our solution, right? We are first solving a sub problems. To do that, to track that the, the sub problems that we already solved, we are creating a two-dimensional array where we are going to store that this result from the previous sub problems that we already solved. Let's now start with the, let's say that the word one and the word two, right? We create a two-dimensional array and uh, first if the word one and the word two both are empty, so it means that uh, we need a zero, zero changes, right? To match the word one and the word two. How about let's say that uh, or if the word one is empty and the word two has only one character, we need to make one change. If it's two characters, two change and three characters, three change. The same for the for the word one is if the word two is empty, then we need to make one change, two changes, three, four and five. Now let's compare the characters, right? We are comparing the first character. We are comparing, we are comparing here H with, we are comparing H with O. R, right? We are comparing H with R. Are they equal? No, they are not equal. It's a plus one, so which means that they are not equal, right? So we need to make one change here. And also we are taking the, we at this problem, at this point, we haven't solved any sub problem, but the, for the consistency, we are going to take the, the way that algorithm are going to work, we are going to take the minimum of the one of these cells, right? So when the when the word one is empty and we have only R or word two is empty, we have only H in the word one or they are both empty. So when, when they're both empty, it's equals to zero. So we're taking that zero, zero plus one gives us, gives us one, right? So we are setting one here. We are setting here one. Now let's move to the next character. Let's compare again H with the O, right? H is not equals to O. So it means that we are taking minimum of these three cells, right? So R O H, or we are taking the H R, right? Or we are taking that uh, when the uh, w word one is empty and the R. So in these cases, in these two cases, it equals two, one, right? So one plus one gives us two. The same way we are, uh, H is not equals to S. We we are setting here what three right three, so now let's go to the next one O so and compare O with the R right we are comparing O with the R O is not equals to R and the minimum of from these three cells right it one one plus one gives us two we are setting here two, now let's go to the next one the next one is that we are comparing O with the O right. We are comparing O with the O. Is O equals to O? Yes, it equals. It means that, what it means? It means that at this point, we are not going to make any change, right? We are not going to make any, any modification to word two to match the, to word one to match the word two. So in that case, we are taking the, the, the sub problem that we already solved. So at this point, what we have, we have R O, right? And we have H O, right? So, O and O, they are equal, so which means that we are not considering that, and we are taking the sub problem that we already solved. And the sub problem that we solved is RH, right? RH, right? Give one, so which means that we are taking that from here. So we are taking that from here, and we are setting that, right? So we don't have to make any changes here, so there is no increase now. So now let's go to the next one. Next one is the ROS and the HO, right? So 
for the rows and HO, what is the minimum, right? Minimum of these three, this one, right? And uh, one plus one gives us two. We are setting that two here. Now let's go, let's go to the next one. Next one is R. We are comparing R with the R, right? Where are they equal? Yes, they are equal, which means that um, we are going to take this value from here, right? This value from here too, right? Because at this point, so we are taking if R equals to R, H O R and R, so which means R equals to R, we are taking the value of H O and uh, when the word two is empty, which is equals to two. Now let's go do the same for, now we are comparing R with the R O, right? R, R with the R O is R is equals to O. No, it's not equals. And the minimum of these three gives us one. One plus one, it gives us two, right? Now let's go to the next one. Next one is what? R with the S, right? We are comparing R with the S. R is not equals to S. And the minimum most of these three gives us what? Gives us this one, right? One, one plus one plus one gives us two. Now let's go to the next one. Now we are comparing H O R S. We're comparing S with the R. R is not equals to S is not equals to R. So we are taking minimum of these three values again, these three values, right? And the minimum of these three values is two, two plus two plus um, one is three. The next one is again, we are comparing S with the with the O. S, we are comparing S with the O. S is not equals to O. Minimum of these values is 2, 2 plus 1, or 3. The next one is again, um, we are comparing S with the S. Is S equals to S? Yes, it equals. So at this point, what we have, we have, again, we are solving here sub problems, right? We have here and we have here rows, right? So these two, we are they, they are equal. So which means that we are not making any changes here. What is the minimum minimum changes that we need to make for for the H O R and the R O? Like so so for this one, right? For R O and H O R is two. So which means that this value because we already solved this sub problem. So we are taking this value from here. It's two, right? It's two. Okay, now let's go to the end to finalize our solution. So now we are comparing E with the R. E with the R is E equals to R. It's not. So minimum of these values plus one, three plus one gives us four. The next one E is equals to O. No, it's not. So which means that we are taking minimum of these values. Again, it's four, right? Again, four. And now we have what? We have the last one, E, we are comparing with the S. They are not equal. So minimum of minimum of three, four, and the two gives us what? Gives us two. Two plus one gives us three, which is the value that we are going to return. Okay, let's create first two variables, M and N. It's um, size of word one and the word two because we are going to use them. We are going to use them to create our two dimensional array where we are going to store our sub problems. So word one length, right? Length and uh, int N is word two length. Okay, so now we can create two dimensional array. DP is dynamic programming, right? And we are going to new int with the size of m plus one, m plus one, and n plus one. Okay, so now we have our two dimensional array. We can go and solve our sub problems that will lead us to our to our problem, right? So we build, we will solve the sub problems, which will build up to our solution. So int i, right? i is less than m and uh, i plus plus. So exactly the same we can copy paste here for, do for m for n, right? For n and it's going to be j here, j 
G and uh, G. So what we're going to do here, the first thing is first if statement, if our I is equals to zero, right, which means that the, we can populate that with the default values. So if our I is equals to zero, so we are going to populate that the, with the default values. So for the I and the J, right, it's going to be equal to our J. And the next one is, so this is our first statement. The next one is, if our, if our j is equals to zero, right? If the j equals to zero, again, we are going to populate that with the default values, with the default values. So dp, dp i and j is equals to, is equals to i, okay, is equals to i. And the next one is that the, what if our characters equals, if our characters else if, if our character equals, so then the word one character at, right, character at i minus one, minus one is equals to word to character at j minus one, if that equals, so what's that mean? It means that the, we can ignore that character, right? We, we, we are not doing any modification to that. So we can, we are gonna take the, whatever the previous value, right? So for example, let's say in our case, h, let's say that the, we have here something like uh, in our case, right, we have H O, and we have we have uh, our H O, and uh, we have here S O, right? So we have we, O is equals to O, which means that the, we are taking the value, whatever the minimum value we have for the S and H, right? So that's what we are exactly doing here. So for D P, I and J, right? I and uh, j we are setting whatever the value is we can actually copy paste this one minus one i minus one and the j minus one okay so and the last one is last one is if they are not equal if those values are not equal then in that case we are taking the minimum value right minimum value plus one because we are going to do one modification one change in that case so what we are doing here we are taking the minimum value math one of the either from the left from the right or the, the previous value right math minimum we are taking math minimum and uh, we are going to use math minimum twice because we need we, we need to take the math minimum of three values right so we are taking the dp we are taking dp i minus one, i minus one, j. We are taking or, or dp i j minus one from the left, from the right, or from the previous one, right? So, or, or we are taking dp. i minus one or j minus one okay so we are taking this value and setting to our to our sub problem so once we exit this loop we have solved all the sub problems that build up to our solution so what we do here we are returning dp m to n right the last value will be the value that uh, our value. So, for example, in, in, in our case, it's going to be horse and the sore, right? Horse and the sore. So it's going to be three. So let's run our algorithm. OK, 
Okay, it's misspelled here, length, the same here, and also equals, right? I is less than or equal to M, the same as J, and uh, also if they are not equal, if the character is not equal, we are increasing size to one, right? Because we have to make one change here. Okay, let's run it. All right, great. It works as expected. Let's calculate time and space complexity. What's the time complexity? The time complexity here is determined by these two for loops, right? Four and four. So it's basically M multiplied to N, right? So O M multiplied to N multiplied to N. How about the space complexity? Space, space complexity is the same, is determined by this, uh, by our two dimensional array DP. So it's the also size of M to N. Okay, uh, that's it. That's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.